Edgecombe from Rockford, Michigan. I'm one of your potato contest winners, and I want to teach you and my class how to make Polish pierogies. Pat Edgecombe, how you doing? Congratulations. Welcome to the show. So hopefully I'm going to be able to, uh, to make you proud with these pierogies. So um, what we've got here first, we're going to make a dough, and I'm going to make a little filling. Chime in anytime you want. If you don't want to, hey, that's okay, too. So... I boiled some potatoes. I got some russet potatoes here that I boiled, and they're really good and fork tender. So what we want to first do is we want to drain these. And then we're going to put them back on the stove. I'll show you a little emerald trick. When I do this, I usually turn the heat on, get rid of that last bit of water in here so they don't get all nice and soggy. We didn't lose any potatoes. Now, what we have here is some onions that we sauteed. And we want to add the onions to this? Yes. To the potatoes? Yes. Okay. So we're going to add the onions to the potatoes. All right. While that's happening, do I season this with, like, salt and pepper? You can. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I'm under a lot of pressure here, Hilda. All right, now for the dough. No, this is the filling. I lost my head. That's the dough. That's this the is dough. the dough? Yes. No, with the cream cheese? Yes. Oh, hey, this is the dough. Cream cheese and egg, a little butter, and a pinch of salt. All right, and then I'm going to start mashing these potatoes right now. With the cheese. With the cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheese is in here, too. Right. Cheddar cheese. Little milk, just in case. A little bit. Little. <clears throat> I can see why you'd make a lot of pierogies. It's a good workout thing. These pierogies, we made the dough. Cream cheese, an egg, a little bit of salt. Nice and light, you said. If it's a little bit too sticky, add a little bit more flour. Then we're going to let this rest a little bit. Then I said, how does the filling look? And she said... It needs more cheese. My kind of girl. So uh, we'll add a little bit more cheese in there, right? Yeah. All right. More? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we got the filling. And then uh, what I'm going to show you at home, what we have here. This is where I thought this recipe was fantastic, Pat. Because not only... Did you put onions in here with, with lots of cheese, right? But what we also started doing is in butter. Huh. Yeah. I mean, somebody's got to help them poor dairy farmers. <laughs> so we got a little butter and some onions, and she's sort of seasoning the pan is what I call it. We got a little water here because now we're going to poach them, but first we got to fill them. So here's what we do. We roll the dough out on a floured surface. And then we're going to use a round cutter. About that big, okay? That's good. And uh, keep, it, keep it real, as I say, or keep it close. You don't want to waste any of that. Now, here's what we do. Take about a tablespoon of filling. Good. And put that right in the old center here. You don't want to put too much because they start oozing out. We don't want them oozing. Oh, no, I hate that oozing stuff. <laughs> then we get a little bit of water around the edges. And then we fold it over, right? Right. Like such. And this is what happens when you got too much filling. You see that, Buck? See how it's got potentially oozing ability. <laughs> so we're going to take it out. And then we want to seal it. It's like a little empanada, except... You can In roll Polish? It out. You can roll it out a little flatter, too. You can roll it out a little flatter. Yeah. Okay. Now, then you got to crimp them. Yes. This is where a lot of people don't understand that crimping thing. Not primping. <laughs> crimping. You get a little fork like this, and you just... See, and that also helps out the oozing thing. Now, am I right, Pat? That's right. All right. So now in some salted water, little salted little water, salt. we want to we wanna drop these in here. 
And then what happens, folks, they'll kind of almost float like most dumplings will do. But here's where she kicked it up a notch. I was impressed with this. So she's got this onion cooking and just happy in the pan. Now you take the onion out. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. I think I read the recipe. Just leave some. You know, it's amazing when you read the recipe what happens, you know? It's unbelievable the kind of results that you can have. Leave some butter in the pan. Yeah, oh, yeah, babe. Oh, look, look. I got backup just in case. Oh, yeah. But you don't throw the onions out. No. That's another thing. See, I cook. Pat with a lot of onion like this. How are things in Michigan? A little cold this time of the year? It's getting there. It's getting to be cold. Very cold. Deer season's open. Everything's happy. Yep. Pierogies everywhere. Yep. <laughs> All right, now, when these guys, when they start to float, let's check one out. All right, they're looking good. Now, do you drain them any special way, or you just put them right in the pan? Just sl slotted spoon, put them right in the pan. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start sliding them right into the butter that's flavored with the onion. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, you could put that on a bumper of a car, it would taste good. You kidding me? <laughs> onion and butter? Jeez. So we we'll slide them right on there. All right, now, we just kind of get them a little brown on each side. Is that the, is that the thing, Pat? A little bit. Not, not a lot. Right. So you just really, more than color, what you're doing is you're flavoring them. Okay, and then how do you like to serve them? Sour cream, applesauce. And then the onion goes on barbecue top? Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce? Yeah. Wow, I never had a pierogi yep. with barbecue sauce. I bet you that'd be good. <laughs> All right, so now we'll kick the heat up a bit here. And uh, just kind of getting that. It's a food of love thing is basically what's taking place it right is. now. The butter, the pierogies, you know, happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, babe. All right, so. I just, yeah, more butter, <laughs> you know. All right, so you would you say that they're done? A little bit longer. A little bit more. All right. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm keeping her. So the pierogies go on the old plate like this. Woo! Can you imagine coming home and having this as a snack? Oh, goodness. And then what she does, I love this lady, then she, sp what? Sprinkle the onions on it or no? Yes. Oh, okay, that all right. That wasn't me. <laughs> I thought I was making a new recipe up. All right, and then I've got sour cream, and I've got applesauce, and I've got our first winner here with these incredible pierogies. Yes, indeed.